everybody, it's Christina Wishes, and I have my kids here. We have Sammy and Gabe, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about Ollivanders and our wands and our experience doing magic in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So, um, some of you may know that today is Harry Potter's birthday, and and so we are celebrating today. Um, we're going to make butterbeer floats after this and have a Harry Potter movie marathon. So we all picked out our favorite movies and stuff. So we are definitely celebrating Harry's birthday today. So um, the first thing that we wanted to talk to you guys about was our experience at Ollivanders. Now, Ollivanders is the wand shop in Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley that you can get your wands at. So there are two Ollivander shops. There is one in Hogsmeade where they have the show where you can get, um, you can actually get fitted for a wand by Ollivander. It's a really cool little show and you wait in a line outside and they do groups because it's really small in there so they do like small groups of um, I don't know how many. Do you know? I, I don't know. I don't know how many, but it's just a small group. Ten. But no, it was more than five or ten. But anyway, it was they're small groups, and you wait. And but it wasn't too long of a wait, and it was right by the stage where they were doing another show. I think it was the Hogwarts Choir or something. So there was entertainment going on, and yes, yeah, she really enjoyed the Hogwarts Choir. So. <laughs> They also do, at that same little stage, other than the Hogwarts Choir, they have another show where it's the Durmstrang guys, where they do a, like a little acrobat show, and like they do in the fourth movie, the Triwizard Tournament. I believe it's called the Triwizard Pep Rally, and the Bow Batons, or the Bow Batons, or I'm not sure how you say it, they, co they go in and they do their pretty ribbon dance thing, and it's beautiful, and they're adorable, and it's great. Um, and you kind of feel like, you're like, oh, yeah, I just saw the pep rally, whatever. Anyway, um, so as you're waiting in line, and that's in Hogsmeade. So there is a shop in Diagon Alley, just like, you know, for accuracy's sake, just like there is in um, in uh, the movie. You know, in the movie, Harry gets his, in the books, Harry gets his wand, and everybody gets their wands at the wand shop at Diagon Alley. But here, if you want to get your wand and you want to do the wand shop thing, um, you got to go to Hogsmeade to do it. Um, so, wands. Now, you can get two different types of wands. One type of wand is the inactive wand, or you can get the active wands. Now, these guys both wanted to do magic, so we bought the wands, the active ones. Now, you can tell by this little um, gold thing here. You see the gold label there? On the other labels, they are not gold. They are, I think they're white. We were just talking about this. We can't remember what color they are, but you can tell that it's the interactive wand by this thing. So, um, without further ado, we'll show you the wands. So, this is Samantha's wand, and she picked Professor McGonagall's wand. Can you see it? There. She picked Professor McGonagall's wand. It comes out just like this. It just goes right in. There's like a velvety kind of inside thing. It's really nicely packaged. So here is hers. There is the edge of the wand. And just to let you know, they do have a wand repair shop inside all of the Ollivander's stores. So now Sammy had dropped hers um, getting on the on the, um, the Hogwarts Express. And so this little piece had broken and we took it to the wand shop and they fixed it right up. So there's always that, that option. Um, you can also see on the tip there that there's a little sensor. And with that little sensor, you can do magic in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now, I'm gonna give this back to Samantha and I'll show you Gabriel's wand. That was Professor McGonagall's wand. So Gabriel's wand is Narcissa Malfoy's wand. So Gabe and I are both Slytherins. I'm wrapping my Slytherin gear today. And so, and Sammy is a Hufflepuff. So Gabriel's wand looks like this. It's really neat. So I'm gonna talk to you guys. Now I'll turn it over to you guys. Now, why did you guys pick the wands that you picked? Well, um, I was just looking around for a wand and I saw this one. I was like, ooh, I want this one. So I picked it up and 
was like, I like this. He liked the feel of it. The yeah. wand chose him. All right, Sammy, and you. How, how come you picked the wand that you picked? I like the grip of it, and I like the gem on it. Oh, okay. So you can pick character ones, but you can also pick random um, ones that Ollivander has crafted that may suit you better. So it also comes with this cool map. One side says Hogsmeade, and the other side says Diagon Alley. So we'll start with the Hogsmeade side. And you open it up. Not sure how well you can see here. It's a big map. But it's a big map, but you can see, I'll just give you a section there, that it shows you the spells and how to do them. And they're all number coded, so you can see where, so they have, each has a number. And you look on here and you can find the number. So, if you wanted to do Revelio, you would look for, it's right here, in this area here. So, you would walk by right here by the Butterbeer cart. So, you would walk over there, and there is a gold seal in the bottom that looks just like, that has this little thing on it that tells you how to do, how to do the spell. Um, Gabe, why don't you tell us about doing magic in the wizarding world. Doing magic in the wizarding world is way harder than it is in the movie. <laughs> you have to follow a way to swish and flick your wand and it's just to me I was a little confused but then I got then I figured it out and I was like, oh I guess this is easier than it was. I was wondering what that triangle Okay Sam and you go ahead. <laughs> I was you go ahead. I was wondering what the triangle thing with the circle was and then I and then I you tried it. Spell. So did you guys think it? So Gabe said he thought it was hard. Do you? Did you think it was hard? Yeah. So you got to do it just right, or sometimes you don't get it. It doesn't sometimes work. Sometimes too big or too small. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to get it just right. It's a little finicky, but once you get it, it's just really cool. So um, that is a little bit about what the wands look like. A little bit about our experience at Ollivander's Wand Shop. And so we thank you for watching.